I'm Kim and this is my Gem Literary TBR. I set myself a Goodreads reading challenge for 2017 saying I want to read 52 books. Which means for me that I'm gonna read one book every week or at least I'm gonna try to. So for my TBRs I'm gonna include 4-5 to five books every month depending on how many weeks the month has. I hope I can keep this up till the end of the year so I can finish my challenge. I also plan on adding about two books every month, which will be the books I'm gonna listen to on audiobook. So if I'm actually gonna manage to stick with this, I'm easily reaching my 2017 goals, but I decided to leave some space so that if there's a month which isn't that good and I don't manage to read a book every week, I still can finish my challenge. So let's hope I'm gonna manage. I also made a decision to try to alternate between reading adult fiction and reading YA. When it comes to YA, I pretty much only read or plan to read fantasy, maybe some dystopian and sci-fi. So I don't really like contemporary or I have not yet found contemporary books that I like. So maybe through this channel, through watching a lot of booktube, I'm gonna get into the habit of reading um, contemporary YA, but as of right now, there's nothing on my TBR. For adult fiction, I prefer thrillers that are more like espionage, military kind of things, like Tom Clancy, for example, which are some of the books I have included in this TPR. So let's get started. The first book I'm planning on reading this month, or I'm actually currently reading right now, is Tom Clancy's Netflix by Steve Perry. It is an adult fiction thriller which is written by Steve Perry but is still kind of attributed to Tom Clancy so I don't really know what that, what that is about but um, it is about um, Net, the Net Force which is a special government agency, American government agency which is dedicated to solving cybercrime. As I can tell you right now it is pretty weird to read because it, is, it was published in 98 and it takes place in 2010 and a lot of the technology they're working with is pretty much either non-existent or we have a lot of better things so it's kind of weird for example something that's very present in the books is virtual reality which is something we do not have at all at least not in the way it is described in the book but i will get to this like at my january wrap up or maybe i'm gonna do a review on it we'll see then the next book I'm gonna read is Netforce Hidden Agendas, or at least I'm pretty sure it is. So for me, I'm German, but I read most of my books in English, or I read pretty much all my books in English. But some books I've had for quite a while and they are in German, so maybe books I got from friends or from my mother or whomever. So books they have already read and they gave it to me and so they're in German. And weirdly enough, the order of the Netforce books it's different in English than it is in German, which is ridiculous. Obviously, there's the same order. But I cannot find many sources about the um, German translations of Netforce. So in Goodreads, obviously, if I choose a book, then I can go to editions and see if there's a German book published. And um, yeah, I did that and I checked and they are obviously published, but the order in which they are titled in English, so Netforce 1, Netforce 2, Netforce 3, is different than the one they are titled in German. And I googled, but I only found one source for the Netforce books in German where the order was written down or stated and it's different than the one in English. So I'm really not sure if the second book I'm gonna read this month is actually Hidden Agendas or a different book. I'm gonna read it and then when I know the plot I can check with the Goodreads um, description of the book and then I can tell you if it is hidden agenda or a different one. But I'm gonna read another Netforce book, hopefully the second one in the series. Then as for the YA books I'm gonna read, first which I'm gonna start this week one is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscolo or something like this. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. It is the group book in the biannual bibliothon here on YouTube. I'm not going to take part in it but I still thought it was a good idea to read this book now. Also, as I just said, I mainly read fantasy, sci-fi or dystopian and this is more of a historical novel but I still think I'm gonna be very interested in it and I hope it's going to turn out to be a great book.
The last book I'm planning on physically reading this month is A Fire and Stars by Audrey Coulters. You've probably all heard about this book as it was featured in last month's All Trade Box, I believe. So I've heard a lot about it and I decided to read it and see if it was actually as good as it was hyped up to be. And yeah, we'll see at the end of the month. For all new books, I'm going to listen to Air of Fire and Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Maas, which are both part of the A Throne of Glass series. I'm almost finished with Air of Fire and I really, really love it so far. So I'm really excited to get into Queen of Shadows and maybe I'll even finish this one and start on the next. But we'll see. For now, I've put down those two on my TBR for the month. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. I also put down any of my social media links in the down bar as well as any of the books I mentioned. My next video will be up in two to three days because I'm planning on uploading a video every Thursday or Wednesday depending on just how I manage. But this video was pretty pretty late so the next one will be up in just a couple of days.